Welcome to an introduction to trees. So here we have a network. This is not a tree at the moment, but I'm going to draw a tree. Uh, I'm going to draw a tree first of a subgraph of this. So I'm not going to consider all of the points. I'm only going to consider A, B, C, and D. I'm just going to leave E alone for a second. I'm doing a subgraph. Um, now, to create a tree, we need to join up A, B, C, and D, but there are some rules when we join them up. So the rules are no loops. So there's no loops here at the moment. There's no like edge hanging off here like that. We'll put one there anyway, but uh, there's none of those. All right, so no loops in a tree. No multiple edges. You can see there's a multiple edge between A and B. There's a road that way and a road that way. Uh, and no cycles. So there are a lot of cycles in this graph at the moment. So for instance, A, C, D, and back to A, that's a cycle. A, B, E, D, A, that's a cycle. So no cycles. Okay, and obviously we can only use the connections that already exist. So uh, there's a connection between A and B. So I'm going to draw that one in. There's a connection um, between B and C. I'm going to draw that one in. There's a connection between A and D. I'm going to draw that one in. I am finished. What I've just drawn now is a tree. Okay, so there's no loops. There's no multiple edges. I didn't draw those in there like that. And there's no cycle. Now, a tree, a tree is a connection between vertices using as few edges as possible. And you'll know that you've drawn a tree if you have done the following. A connected graph with V minus one edges. Okay, that is what a tree is. So you can see here, I've created a connected graph. A, B, C, and D are all connected. And I have V minus one edges. V is the number of vertices, one, two, three, four. And I have V minus one edges, uh, which is four minus one, which is three. One, two, three. Okay, and that is how you can tell that you have a tree. Now, it's called a tree uh, because it behaves like a tree. And I'm going to draw uh, what's called a spanning tree. So a spanning tree uses all of the vertices of a graph. So I have one, two, three, four, five vertices. So I'm going to draw in those vertices now, A, B, C, D, and E. And now I'm going to connect them all up by using, well, I've got one, two, three, four, five vertices. So I have to use four lines. And I can only use, or four edges, and I can only use the edges that already exist. So for instance, I can't connect C to E because there's not currently an edge between those. So I can only use the currently existing edges. Okay, I'm going to join A to B. I'm going to join uh, B to C. I'm going to join C to D. And I'm going to join D to E. Now, is it a connected graph? Yes, everything is connected up. There's no little islands hanging out by themselves. Um, are there only four edges because there were five vertices? One, two, three, four. Yes, this is what's called a spanning tree. Now you might be wondering why it's called a spanning tree. Because you can draw this and it kind of ends up looking like a tree. You can see it's a tree that starts at point C and it splits off into D and B and splits off into E and A. Okay, that's just a redrawing of the same graph, but all the connections are identical. So that's why it's called a spanning tree, because you can draw it and it looks kind of like a tree, and its bigger ones sort of split off and end up looking like a tree. Now it's important to note that this is obviously not the only spanning tree I could have drawn. I could draw the points up again and come up with a different spanning tree. Same points in the same configuration. Now I'm going to this time draw a line from A to C. You can see that's already there. I'm going to draw a line from C to B. You can see that one's uh, there. I'm going to draw a line from B to E. I'm allowed to do that. And I'm going to draw a line from A to D. Okay, and you can see I'm using totally different uh, vertices or a lot of different vertices, but I've still got a spanning tree of the same graph. So same graph, we get multiple spanning trees from that. Um, on that note, we're going to leave it there. There's our introduction to trees. In a future video, we're going to call, talk about something called a minimum spanning tree. 
and there's some really interesting ways to work with those ideas. But for now, that's what a tree is. As long as you think of it as a connected graph with V minus 1, vertices minus 1 edges, you can't really go too far wrong.